Welcome to this session on the implementation of the Timer Widget. This video is intended for Vantage System Integrators to help you succeed in providing your system owners with the functionality that they desire. There are just a few things that you'll need to consider. First, for each timer you know the homeowner will want, you need to decide the best way to implement it. There are three options. First, you create the timer and develop the task within Design Center. Second, you create a task within Design Center and associate it with a keypad button or an Equinox device object task placeholder so it can be selected as a scene within the scene widget. Then you create a timer and assign the scene to it. Or third, you create a scene within the scene widget by selection of each element to be included in the scene. As an option two, you then create the timer and assign the scene to it. Now there are pros and cons to each option. For option one, you can implement any event that you can program within a task. The system owner has no editing capabilities, but the power of Design Center task programming may still make this the best option in many cases. Even for this timer option, the homeowner can change the timer type, event time, he can impose calendar restrictions, and he can enable or disable the timer. The only editing capability not present to the system owner is the timer action. Options two and three are most useful for lighting only scenes. The difference will be a preference for how those scenes are adjusted by the system user. For option two, a program task, if you will program the task as an on with learn and show the system owner how to adjust lights in real time, then press and hold the scene to learn the new preset, the system owner may see the value in that. For option three, the user cannot see the impact of the settings in real time as they make the adjustments for each light within the scene, but they have the ability with this option to change the scope, either adding and or removing lighting loads and adjusting ramp times individually and possibly even inserting delays between uh, the scene actions. And you might find yourself using a combination of two or three of these options to meet the various requirements of the project. Let's enter into Design Center to review a few requirements for successful implementation of the timer widget regardless of which timer options are selected. First, we need to make sure that the system time is correct on the controller. Under date and time under system, make sure that our controller time is correct. If not, we will correct it. Secondly, make sure that the location of the project is set correctly within the file. That's under Settings, Project Information, Location and Time. We should have the correct latitude, longitude, and location on the left. And third and finally, we need to verify that the daylight saving information over here on the right is correct. Between these two, then we will be able to have correct sunrise and sunset times as they change throughout the year. As for which timers you will want to expose to the system owner, consider that there might be timers that you create for processes that should be totally transparent to the users of the system. And for those then, we can select to exclude from widgets. Notice that any timer that is of, of type second, minute, hour, or day, excuse me, or hours, but not days, is expected to be of this type and is not exposed within the widget. And in fact, there is no provision to expose any timers of these types in the timer widget. You would do well to consider creating the timers that you anticipate the system owner will desire, even those that are developed within the Equinox interface, for a couple of reasons. First, your expertise can guide the system owner who otherwise may not be sure where to start. Second, you have access to the Equinox emulator through Design Center, allowing you to use a keyboard and a mouse to set things up, which for setup is both simpler and quicker than the process done manually on the actual Equinox interface. This concludes our implementation video for the timer widget. Be sure to like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter so as to get our continuing updates. Thanks for watching and have a great day.